What's good YouTube? It's David from Creative Ice Media Group here and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make very high quality attractive web buttons for your websites and blogs. It's really easy and it only takes literally a couple of minutes so I'm going to start this tutorial by going file, new and opening an empty document. Mine's going to be width 1280, height 720. It really doesn't matter. Resolution, mine will be 72. I'm going to press OK. Once I have this, I want to make sure my rulers are checked. If you don't have any rulers, go to View and make sure rulers are checked. Okay. What I'm going to do now is enter some text. For the sake of this tutorial, mine will be a Download Now um, button. So I'm going to type Download Now. I'm going to use the font Arial. I want to be zoomed in 100% and I'm going to make my button really big just so you guys can like properly see. Okay, we have the download now. I'm actually going to make them now with a capital M. And we're going to give a little slogan super fast and free. Okay, once we have that, I'm going to change the color to black so it stands out compared to my background. Okay. And we're going to make the super fast and free much smaller than the actual download now text. This is where the rulers come in. You're going to want to drag a ruler towards the D, whatever the first letter of your main text is. And you can, if you zoom in extra close, you can actually see if the S, the super, is actually perfectly lined up. As we can see, it is. However, I will move it up a bit. And you can just get rid of your ruler by dragging it out again. Once we have our text sorted, we will um, draw the rectangle box. Because this button wants to have like, a little modern effect, we're going to give it a rounded rectangle. Um, so all you do is right click and make sure um, you just click on rounded rectangle tool. You're going to want to choose a color that your um, button is. Just keep in mind, right now it doesn't really matter. However, mine, for the sake of the tutorial, will be blue. So I'm just going to make a box roughly that size. I'm going to drag this layer underneath all the text. And I'm going to position this button centered as so. So that's looking quite good now. What we're now going to do is we're going to style the text. Okay, We're going to add a little drop shadow. So what we do by how we do this sorry, is by clicking on the downloads now I'm going to go to this FX and we're going to click on drop shadow okay we're going to give a drop shadow of one pixel spread okay distance zero and size zero okay the angle will have to be 120 blah blah blah, blah. so sorry why did I say spread zero um, one it's actually distance one my apologies Okay, um, that we press OK, and we do the same for this. Actually, I'll teach you a little shortcut. We can right click, press copy layer style, right click, paste layer style. Now, both of these have the same layer style. However, I am quickly going to change the text to white now. So, yes, and I'm going to actually make this. Okay. Now we have the text sorted, we're going to add the gradient to the text box, the rectangle box. So again, we're going to click on the shape, by clicking as so, we're going to go to effects, and we're going to add a gradient overlay. Now this is where the two top co um, the color you want. I said I want blue, so I'm going to double click on the gradient, double click on this box, and this is the code I'm going to enter. You enter the same code, however, you will modify it slightly. It for mine, the bottom will be 1D93B1, okay? However, if you for, let's say you want a green button, you just click on these and drag to the green, okay? However, for this sake of the tutorial, I do want a blue button, so again, 1D93B1. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to double click on this one, and again, I'm going to change this to 23B9 
C7, okay? Again, like I said, you change by dragging. Press OK and OK. Uh, we have that sorted. Now we can give a little stroke. We're going to choose um, position inside, uh, size one pixel, okay? And fill type gradient, okay? We're going to again double click on this gradient, and the bottom will be again 8C D 5E 0. As I said, again, you just drag to change yours to the right color, however, that is the right uh, saturation. Uh, the top will be D2 F C F F. Okay, press OK. And we are done there. Now we just need to give a little outer glow. Okay. Um, we're going to choose an outer glow color. Oops. Cancel. Oh, God, again. <laughs> outer glow color. Sorry. Um, it's a fail there. And I'm going to do 0, 1, 3, 5, 4, D. Okay. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to change the blend mode to normal. I'm going to change the size to 1, and I believe that is it. I'm going to, yeah, uh, sorry, spread 100% also. And again, you just drag wherever color you want. I'm going to press OK. And ladies and gentlemen, that is your beautiful, sexy download button. It may not look anything special, but trust me, this is really really um, sleek and modern on websites these days you basically this is just the foundation you it's your job now to customize it how you want to tailor make your website I hope this tutorial did help it was really easy really quick I apologize for not making tutorials recently I am going to start making um, tutorials once a week now I am also going to remake tutorials of my old going to start remaking old tutorials as um, I have purchased a new microphone which should be coming in a few weeks so I'm going to start making my tutorials a bit more professional however I decided to make a tutorial today thank you for watching can you give me a thumbs up please if you enjoyed this tutorial favorite share this um, link um, video throughout anywhere <laughs> um, and yeah Subscribe, people. Love you all. Peace.